Hello, and welcome to Advanced Broadcast Technologies. I'm your host, Paul of Chatterjee. Today's episode comes to you from the E3 Expo in Los Angeles, California. This gaming event is the top of the gaming industry and features all manner of games from board games to mobile and social games to AAA games on consoles and VR. The show not only covers the games themselves, but the full ecosystem of the gaming world. Our episode today starts with an interview by guest host Paul Filio with the co-founder of Alienware, the leading gaming PC manufacturer. The discussion includes his thoughts on esports as a changing part of the gaming world. Next, we feature AK Racing, DX Racing, and EWIN Racing, all showing their gaming chairs, which are designed from gaming enthusiasts to gaming professionals. The gaming accessories continue with new professional esports headsets from Plantronics, as well as general accessories as controllers and headphones from PDP. Finally, a new consumer headset from One More. Returning to computing, we show the new gaming hardware from Cougar Games and the new full lineup being offered by Alienware. We hope you enjoy the show. We'd like to uh, start by telling us a little bit about where you feel Alienware is at this midway point at E3 2018, in the middle of the year, and where you feel that Alienware will be when we're looking back at 2018, at the end of the year. It's a, it's a pretty big year for us this year with Alienware. Um, we have a lot of news, a lot of exciting things that we've uh, already accomplished, and we have a, a lot of exciting things coming uh, moving forward as well, planned for 2018. This year, we opened up in a training facility with Team Liquid. It's the first of its kind in North America. We built a training facility for them to help them uh, improve the way in which they train and, and prepare for their esports tournaments. And that opened um, in, in March here, and actually in LA, in California. Really, really exciting time, an incredible facility. It's elevated um, what it's like to be part of an esports team and prepare for, uh, for combat, if you will. Um, and since then, and I want to take full credit for it, of course, with the training facility, um, Team Liquid has had an incredible amount of success. They won, have won multiple esports tournaments and they've come in second place and the ones that they haven't won, they've really positioned themselves as one of, if not the best esports team out there. And I think a large, a large part of that has been uh, because of this partnership and this facility that we've helped build together. Today at the show, we actually introduced Alienware Academy, where what we're doing is we're partnering with Team Liquid and our uh, eye-tracking technology partners, Toby, to help teach aspiring esports esport athletes skills and curriculums to help them become better esports athletes. So Team Liquid will come in and they'll um, give skills and tips and tactics that they use every day in their training and in their comp in competition and they'll pass that knowledge on to aspiring esports athletes that are out there. And we're using eye tracking technology from Toby to help people measure and understand what their gaze, gaze times are, for example, their responsiveness to uh, certain actions that are going on on screen and being able to calibrate and compare that to how the pros uh, perform under those types of circumstances. So it adds a level of layer and depth to um, esports analytics that we've never seen before. Well, it sounds like you've obviously got a lot of announcements. It's been a big. Sh it's been a big show for you this year. You, you know, you, you're announcing a lot. You're speaking and uh, touching a lot of points. But I'd like to go back for a second to what you're doing in the esports arena. Um, are you working and talking with other technology partners besides Toby? I mean, Toby is a, obviously well known for gaze recognition, eye tracking technologies. But are you talking with other technology partners to do more and different things to move the ball forward? If you'll pardon the expression, in the esports arena. Absolutely. So we're, you know, being the largest supplier of gaming systems in the world, we have access to an incredible amount of technology that's out there. And we're always talking to new partners and incubating new technologies to help the sport. Um, but one of the things that a lot of folks take for granted is the amount of reliability and quality focus that we have when it comes to building our systems specifically for esports competition and athletes. From our perspective, there's no sport out there outside of maybe automobile racing where the athlete's dependency on their equipment is as great as it is for an esports athlete. 
The truth is, is that you know, if you look at a traditional sport like maybe football or basketball, right. um, the equipment that the athletes using maybe helps make up a tiny fraction of the amount of their competitive competitiveness that they're able to bring to the sport. But in automobile racing or in esports racing, if your PC fails you, you're out of the game. You're done. You, it could be the difference between walking away with millions of dollars of prize money or walking away a loser. So our focus is first and foremost on ensuring that the equipment that we're equipping our esports athletes with and any, any consumer really that buys our products are going to be the most reliable and dependable machines that exist out there. And then above and beyond that, we build in an incredible amount of performance so that the experience and your competitiveness can be you know, performed at, at, at a superior level. Um, and then, of course, we have our technologies like Toby and others, our audio technology, our Alienware Command Center technologies that help you just take advantage and maximize the amount of performance and the amount of capability that you're getting out of our hardware. So it sounds like you have a lot. You're working on in-house and you have a few select partners you're building. You're building a platform with basically in building and growing esports. Esports has you know, been reputed to basically pass the uh, the baseball level, baseball audience in terms of being in terms of the audience that's commanded. Overall, where do you want Alienware to be in this market that's clearly growing in the esports space? That could be who knows what sport it could pass next. But where does Alienware foresee itself in the next year or two? Looking a little bit further ahead than just the end of this year. So I've boldly predicted that within the next ten years, I think. Esports will be the most popular sport in the world. I think it'll eclipse every traditional sport that we know up to now. Um, we already have over half a billion uh, people around the world spectating esports in a given year, and that's going to grow to over a billion just in the next two to three years. So, when you look at the rate at which it's growing, you look at the accessibility of esports, um, the the the. the borderless accessibility of esports in that it's accessible through the internet, through mediums like Twitch and others in such an easy and such an affordable way, it's no wonder why it's been so successful. From our perspective, we have a responsibility to the sport to ensure that we're supporting it the way it needs to be so supported with high performance, but very highly dependable and reliable systems, and that we're helping the support max and helping the sport maximize its potential. And that's where our partnerships with Team Liquid, we announced a partnership this week with the Detroit Ren Renegades as well. They're a very successful CSGO team amongst other uh, games that they play, or other um, leagues and sports and games that they play. Um, because having that relationship with the esports athlete, the teams, the management, and how quickly they're evolving is critical to ensure that from a hardware, from a partnership, from an awareness perspective, we're staying on the cutting edge of everything that's going on in the industry. And we're doing everything we can to help push the industry forward as well where possible from where we sit. So, you know, we're fully committed to this. There's a lot of interest now in gaming. There's a lot of interest in esports, so it's very popular, but we've been doing it longer than anybody else. For us, this is not just a business, it's our lifeblood. This is what we love to do. We're gamers ourselves. It's our passion. It comes through in our work every single day. The esports athletes and the teams understand and they recognize that and they want to work with us because we're authentically engaged and we've been doing it as long and as well as we have. Thank you for that. That's a, an interesting perspective. Obviously, it you know, tells where uh, Dell and Alienware is in this ecosystem. But the last thing I'd like to know, since we're, again, we're talking about time frames and we've talked about everything from the next couple of months to the end of, you know, 10 years from now, where might uh, interested consumers, esports folks, influencers, where might we see you next after E3? What other, are you going to be at QuakeCon, Penny Arcade? Uh, what, where might you appear next? Yeah, we have, uh, you can definitely count on us being at QuakeCon, all the Penny Arcade Expos around the, the, the world. You can count on us at China Joy if you're in China. You can count on us at Tokyo Game Show in September if you're in Japan. We'll also be uh, at uh, the Brazil Game Show. We'll be at Campus Party recently, uh, just uh, uh, took place in Mexico. We're always there. I mean, pretty much every gaming show around the world, you can uh, count on Alien We're being there. Um, the next major event for us in esports um, is uh, we're building a, a Team Liquid training facility in the Nordics. So we're scouting out locations right now and planning 
the facilities. We're taking some of the lessons learned from the Los Angeles facility that we opened in March, and we're applying that to the Nordic facility. So we're really, really excited about that. It's kind of version two of the training facility. It'll be even better than the version one that we built, which is already pretty amazing. So that's a really fun and exciting project that we have going on now. So anybody you know that uh, has accessibility or is planning to attend any of these events, PAX, Comic Con, China Joy, any of these, GamesCon, please come by the Alienware booth and say hello. We'd love to meet you. There you have it, folks, around the world. You now know where Alienware and Dell will be in the next several months if you're looking to check out their hardware and their esports initiatives. And uh, I, think that, uh, I think that covers it. Thank you so much, Frank. No it, was, it, was a pleasure, it was a pleasure talking with you. Thank you. Too. AK Racing is a gaming chair manufacturer. Uh, we've been on the market for 17 years so far, and we actually started back in 2001 as a real racing car seat manufacturer. This is to celebrate our racing heritage. Uh, and then later in 2004, we expanded into gaming chairs, and now we are doing not only racing car seats, but also gaming chairs and office chairs. Uh, we're one of the few gaming companies that have their own factories, so we manufacture the chairs in-house fully. We also manufacture the parts for our chairs, which is why we can guarantee the quality and we offer the market leading warranty for our chairs. It's five years on the chair and ten years on the frame. That's the best warranty you can get on a gaming chair. Um, and the upholstery varies from uh, cloth to PU leather to top grain leather. All our chairs have a full 180 degree recline, so everybody knows the meme, but can you do it? Yes, our chair can do it. It actually goes all the way flat. We're here at E3 2018. It's an exciting event, and we're here with our chairs. They're very comfortable, very supportive. They're mostly focused to the gaming crowd, but we supply all offices you know, across the country, across the world, actually. We're very international, and we have very comfortable, supportive chairs for all sized people, large, medium, small, all over the board. So our chairs, uh, they vary in size primarily. There's a lot of different models, a lot of different options in that regard. Uh, we have the Formula Series, the Racing Series. The Racing Series is probably our most popular model that we have. We have a lot of different models within the Racing Series uh, that are kind of all over the board. We work with a lot of different companies. Uh, we have special editions within the Racing Series. So we are here at E3 2018, presenting the very wonderful Ewin Racing Chair. So we have about four different series, uh, very ergonomic chairs that spin around, massage your lower back, some of them, and give you wonderful back and neck support. So we have two adjustable pillows, one for the lower back, one for your neck. We also have 4D handles that move back and forth, up and down in and out, and they also turn around. The wonderful part of these chairs is that they recline into a fully horizontal position, so if you feel like taking a nap after a gaming session, you can totally do that. You can also adjust the height um, of the chair with the handle right here, so it goes up and down. And if you're looking for the great chair to use at the office or to your battle station, Ewing is the right choice. All right, uh, today uh, we just announced the RIG 500 Pro Esports Edition or the RIG 500 Pro Series. So what I'm actually holding here is our RIG 500 Pro Esports. Uh, what really makes this unique is that it has a stainless steel metal headband and then a die cast aluminum exoskeleton ear cups. What's also really unique is if you look at the design, it's actually fully modular. So when I say that, the ear cups actually completely come out and it comes with the headband sling. So that gives you your small, uh, medium and large adjustments. And then you have your kind of micro adjustments with the headband sling. So that actually gives you two points of adjustments on the headset. So this headset can fit up to about 98% of the human population, uh, while a typical headset probably shoots around for like 80, 85. Uh, it also comes with a flip to mute mic. Um, and then we actually extended the boom on this so we can get the mic a little bit closer uh, to your face uh, so you get better noise cancellation and transmit or chat. Uh, what's also really unique is if you look at the design, 
uh, is we do this exoskeleton design actually serves a couple purpose. If you look uh, inside, you actually see our noise isolated acoustic chamber. Um, and then we also have uh, 50 millimeter drivers inside the ear cups. Uh, the ear cushions are also very unique for, for this price point is you have a leatherette on the outside to block out ambient noise, but also to reduce the noise leakage from, from gaming. Um, and then we also have moisture wicking fabric on the inside as well. Um, but kind of what this all kind of wraps into is this right here. This is our rig game audio dial. So this is actually a patent pending feature. Uh, what it does in short is it kind of, we integrated the volume control with the analog connector for console gaming. So really when you're a console gamer, you have your hands on the control. Uh, it, it makes most sense to have the volume control at the controller level uh, versus always kind of grabbing your sleeve and trying to adjust your volume. At the tippy top here, we have um, some of our new controllers that um, we're launching alongside of uh, Smash Brothers, which was just announced uh, from Nintendo. We have the Pikachu, uh, the Link, and we have the Mario edition of those in three different colors. Um, great products, all wired. Um, and again, they are optimized with play control, a la the old GameCube style controls. And uh, those are really meant uh, to be used for, uh, for Smash Brothers. These are new controllers that we're actually launching. This is actually a uh, a textured uh, design. It's actually done with a laser, so it creates this camo pattern. I think you can kind of see that in the light. Um, really creates a really unique texture. Um, this is a detachable faceplate, so you can actually pop off the faceplate and you can actually replace it um, with other faceplates that we have available. And that just clips back on. New line of um, accessory products that we're doing as well. This is what we call our elite line of cases, so they're done. Um, and much more subtle toned uh, colors, this gray and the uh, black leatherette. Um, really for that older, you know, switch consumer, male, 37 years old. Um, we also have a level three uh, chat headset, again, in both PlayStation and, and Xbox. 40 millimeter drivers, um, excellent uh, mic capacitors. Um, number of different color variants. And if you want to step up from there, we also have our AG6, and again, both PlayStation and Xbox, um, is the wireless uh, variation of those, both called AG9 uh, for both Xbox and, and for PlayStation. All first party licensed, uh, great dependable product, um, and we're showing it off here really for the first time here at E3. Hi, we're here at E3 2018, and we're here with the One More VRX headphones. These are our over-the-ear gaming and home entertainment headphones. We've partnered with Waves NX Technology to offer their 3D head tracking technology into these headphones. There's no software needed, they're built right in. The great thing about these headphones is they're extremely light, durable, awesome for playing long extended hours, awesome for movies, extremely accurate uh, representative sound. You get that 7.1 surround sound, you really feel like you're sitting in the middle of a movie theater you can pinpoint where sounds are coming from, if people are coming up behind you, next to you, in front of you, so, what, so have it. Hi, we're here today at E3 2018 and we're showing off all of our latest Alienware products. Uh, I want to start by showing you the brand new Alienware wireless headset. This is our first headset product in over nine years. And we did a really, really nice design here for folks that want to be able to use their headset for an extended period of time while they're playing games or enjoying music or movies. We designed it to be extremely comfortable. So you have a nice soft rubber headband design over here, some very nice soft cushiony ear cups over here as well. They all tilt and swivel and you can adjust everything. You also have a microphone which you can pull down and put in front of your mouth if you want to talk and it's a noise canceling microphone or you can tuck it away nice and elegantly here as well when you're just listening to music and you don't necessarily want to speak. The other new product that we just introduced at the show is our brand new Alienware wired mouse. This is a really uniquely designed mouse and that is fully adjustable. You can extend the palm rest if you have a larger hand or if you're more comfortable with the palm rest extended. You can also swap out the left and right sides. So we ship it with both a two button and a four button configuration for this side. And then on the other side, we also ship you two different types of designs, depending on which one you're more comfortable with, a smaller one and a larger one. In terms of our notebook products, this is our Alienware 13 inch. This is the world's first and only 13 inch OLED display notebook. 
OLED displays have a ton of different advantages as compared to LCD displays. This is the next generation of display technology. The level of blacks that you can get out of an OLED display are unrivaled by any other display technology that's available out there today. The color gamut is just absolutely brilliant. The response time, the image quality, it, this is just the most superior display you can possibly get inside a notebook and we're the only ones that have it right now inside our Alienware 13. If you want to get something a little bit larger and more powerful, we have the Alienware 15. This is one of the mo world's most powerful 15-inch notebooks uh, that exist right now. This plays every single video game that exists out there. You can play at full high definition 1080p, or you can even play as high as 4K with a notebook like this. You get over eight hours of battery life, so you not only can play uh, you, the most intensive games out there and do 3D applications, but you can also use it all day for school, for work, for anything, any productivity tasks that you may have. And then moving into something a little bit larger and even more powerful is the Alienware 17. It has a 17 inch display, uses the most powerful graphics that you can put inside of a notebook today. We overclock the graphics, we overclock the CPU to give you even more value and more performance than what the standard performance of the CPU and the graphics cards come from the factory. Um, all the lighting is customizable on all of these products as well. And uh, we feature uh, 4K displays on the 17 inch just like we do on the 15 inch. So we're here today at E3 2018 and we're showing off some of our new G series gaming notebooks. These are the entry level gaming notebooks that we offer in the Dell portfolio. And we're introducing the new G3 15 inch notebook, which is a really nice 15 inch entry level gaming notebook for folks that want to get into PC gaming and or need to refresh their PC gaming system. And they're looking for something that's going to be affordable, but also deliver some really great performance. On this product, you'll get a 15 inch LCD screen. You'll get a backlit keyboard all the way up to i7 Intel Core i7 processors. And you'll also be able to get NVIDIA 1060 graphics on this product. We also have its larger brother, the uh, G317, very similar to the 15 inch. It's about $50 more expensive, um, but it gives you a 17 inch screen instead of the 15 inch. If you want something a little bit more powerful, we also have one step up from that, the G5 series of products. That's the G5 15 inch, and that gives you a little bit more graphics performance. It gives you a little bit uh, different industrial design with the product and it also introduces technologies like Thunderbolt if you want a faster interface for transferring data. And then if you want something even faster than that, we have our G7 products, which introduce the Core i9 processor from Intel for the ultimate CPU performance that you can get in a product like this.